Hi there, I'm meteorologist and science teacher Ryan Miller. Here's some science for everyone. The topic today, monarch butterflies and milkweed. One of my very favorite species, the monarch butterfly, native to North America. Let's talk a little bit about its life and the importance of milkweed relative to the butterfly. Here's the life cycle, eggs, three to five days. After three to five days, you've got a very beautiful and distinct caterpillar. The unique component is the caterpillar of a monarch butterfly will only eat milkweed. We'll get back to that in just a second. Nine to 14 days as a caterpillar will lead to a chrysalis forming. That's the cocoon. Eight to 15 days in the cocoon will then emerge an adult monarch butterfly, the beautiful creature that is seeing its numbers go down. And we need to do things to conserve this beautiful species two to six weeks as an adult butterfly, but this is also a very unique component to the species. It takes four generations over the course of a year. It starts out in Mexico and in southern portions of our country, moves up in the spring here into the United States. That is generation one. Generation two then is born and makes its way eastward towards Washington and other parts of our region. That is generation two dying, dying out. Generation three heads north, a few weeks of that generation, and then ultimately the longest lived generation over the course of a year is the generation four. That makes the trip back to Mexico. After a year, the process repeats itself. Let's talk about the importance of milkweed. This is something we can all grow, whether it's by your apartment building, whether it's your house. This is milkweed. The caterpillar of the monarch butterfly only eats milkweed. And as the uh, flowers end up turning into seeds, these are milkweed bugs. Notice the color is very similar to a monarch butterfly. But with the milkweed, this is what happens. You can see why it's called milkweed. The wind will pick up some of these seeds and the seeds will start to spread out and, and head off into the environment, encouraging more growth of the milkweed. The more of this, the more monarch butterflies we get, and that is certainly why it's important. One note, if you wanna plant some milkweed, you gotta give it at least 30 days in a cold environment. The fridge or the freezer, plant it after that in the spring, and you'll have yourself some milkweed.